Okay, so who is the luckiest man alive? It's a great question. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to a guy who says that it's him. He's gonna explain why he thinks he's the luckiest man alive. And at the end of the video, I got a very important question for you guys. But first, let's talk to him. And, and he's not here in Bangkok. He's not even in Thailand. Hell, he, he's not even in this hemisphere. But this is one of the most important people in my whole life. And I got to do this in person. So, so let's go. Let, let's go make this journey. Well, now I'm in, a, I'm in an airplane bathroom. This is, this is a little bit weird. I'm tired of frizzled. Let's just get out of here. Okay, this is a little bit better than the bathroom. But still, I'm eight hours into this flight. And uh, those of you that travel to Bangkok from far, far away, you know how I feel right now. I hate when you're halfway through the flight and you got so much more to do. The other thing I'm not a fan of is that I've had to put on pants. See that? Pants for crying out loud because we're traveling far and we're traveling the cold weather to meet this special guest. It's, it's not only the pants that you gotta wear. We've made it here to Toronto. It's winter time. So I'm gonna have to put on this winter jacket and uh, go out and uh, see what it's like. First winter in 10 damn years. Oh! oh. 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 We, found oh. <laughs> oh. we found him. Oh. We had to come. Oh. This is the guy oh. right so here. Happy. 80th birthday. We thought we'd come, but couldn't you got better weather than this? We tried. Well, with this weather, I think I'd be better off if we went to Thailand. Oh, good idea. It's a good lot idea. warmer. That's a good idea. Good idea. And I got just the place for us. Wow. I don't want to be the birthday boy. I'm, oh, too, I gotta go I'm too old. Here we go. Okay, so when my parents came to Thailand last year, don't know if you guys remember, but uh, remember to the place we went up in northern Thailand? What was that place called? Pai. And it was one of the best places in Thailand to visit. I liked everything about Pai. I liked two huts, I loved the food, and I loved the people. And the mineral springs. Yes, the hot springs. I loved it. And the best Airbnb we've ever stayed in, Air Topai. You Topai. Well, since you liked it up in Pai so much, I thought I'd bring you, we'd bring you down here oh. to Pai, a little slice of Pai in Toronto. Wow. And we got some special people coming to meet you. Not only are I shocked with you coming all the way from Thailand for my birthday, we're going to Pai. I want to show you a picture on the water. We are the Parker fam here to celebrate Ramsey's 80th birthday. Uh, I'm Meredith. I am Chris's niece. This is Megan. Hi, I'm Megan. And we're sisters. These are Adam's two sisters yes. right here. Do we look alike? My lovely nieces. <laughs> when are you guys coming to Thailand? Hopefully this year. In the next couple of years for us. I'm thinking that his lovely young ears would hear better if he was sitting in the center of all this. What? What did she say? Everyone's settling in here at Pi, but there's still two very special guests. Let's see if they're out here. Look at Canada. Oh my God. Oh yeah, there they are. We found the final two guests. <laughs> you guys remember him from Thailand. Introduce yourself, young man. Hi, I'm Ethan. Oh. These are spider legs <laughs> and these are pig's balls. First drink in 30 years. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. We've been drinking since this morning. I have to meet this lady. 
We're going in, uh, not this year, but we're going next year. And we want to go to Pi and see you. This is the famous chef Nui here. You guys know her. Nui, how are you doing? Doing good. How are you? If you guys have never tasted Nui's food, you haven't lived yet. My dad's over here talking to Jeff. I don't, I'm trying to figure out which one turns 80 today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is it this one? Is it this one? I think it's this one. We're with the man who started high. Jeff, how's it going, my brother? Everything's amazing, man. Yeah? Even better that you're here. Okay, so check this out. What's your name? Pi. His name's Pi. We're at Pi. And what were you just doing over there? I uh, was just saying hi to uh, to your nephew, Adam. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait till you see the hairdo. You guys haven't seen her in a while. Hi! Happy birthday, 80th birthday. So Jeff's gonna give us a private tour here of Pie Toronto, one of Toronto's hottest restaurants run by Toronto's coolest damn couple. Tired working for you meetup was in this private room. They got food and I can hardly wait. My favorite Masaman chicken. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Speechless. I'm absolutely oh, no. speechless. speechless. Yes, I am. Make a wish. Oh, I made that wish a long time ago. Yeah, when it came through, didn't it, Grubsy? Yeah. Oh. I'm feeling great. I'm eating some Thai ice cream. It's delicious. I'm feeling very blessed. Thank you. Thank you. It was absolutely spectacular. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Does this thing even work in this cold weather? Look at this. It's the next morning. And uh, when we got back to the hotel last night, my dad said something that stuck with me. He said that on the 80 years that he's had on this planet, that last night was one of the greatest days he's had in 80 trips around the sun. And it got me thinking, man, when your clock turns to 80, what's going on in the old noggin? What are you thinking about? Well, lucky for you guys, we're not gonna have to wonder because apparently he's been writing a speech all damn week and he's gonna orate for us. I'll share with you guys the highlights. Come in here, I got my brother behind the camera. So what do you think the old man's gonna have to say to us? It's gonna be long. I think he is going to probably talk about life in the early days and how much things cost and some of the statistics. And then I think he's probably going to go through and talk about how proud he is of uh, each member of the family. All right, so we got a prediction. Should we go check it out? I think we should. All right, it's time. There are 7.8 billion people in the world. Out of 100 people, 11 live in Europe. Five live in North America. Nine live in South America, 15 live in Africa, and 60 people live in Asia. 49 people live in the countryside, and 51 of those people live in cities. 75 people have mobile phones, and like our family, they use them at dinner the odd time. 30 people have internet access, 70 people do not. 33 people of the 100 are Christians. 22 people are Muslims. 14 are Hindus. Seven are Buddhists. Uh, 12 are other religions, and 12 have no religious beliefs at all. 26 people out of 100 live less than 14 years of age. 66 
people died between the age of 15 and 64. 64. Only eight live or exceed the age of 65. If you own your own home, if you eat full meals and drink clean water, you have a mobile phone and can surf the internet and have gone to college, you are in the minuscule privileged lot of less than 7% of the population. Cherish every remaining moment. That's kind of the business side of things. I also took a little time to do the personal side. And I titled this, The Luckiest Man I Know, Me. I'd like to share with you the reasons why I'm the luckiest man in the world. And it all starts with family. First, who was, the luck who was lucky enough to marry the nicest, smartest, prettiest, and most supportive woman he ever met? Me. For 56 years, we've been married and counting the love of my life. Then came along Michael, or as I call him, number one. I really like him for his dedication to his work and his family. When Michael married Kelly, I'm not sure who was, <laughs> who was happier, Michael or Nanny. Like Linda, Kelly has supported her family as individuals all the way. Congratulations on being you. What I admire about number two, Christopher, is his dedication to being himself. Nobody's going to tell Chris how to live his life. Well, maybe there's one person who can tell him how to live his life, and that would be Hay Lee. She was the gal that left her home and culture in Korea to a strange new world with Chris. Name the number of people you know would do this. Next come the grandkids, Adam, or the ad man as I call him. First, he's very smart. Second, he's very respectful. Third, he's his own man. And fourth, he calls Nanny every week or two and makes her really happy. The future holds no limits in my books for the ad man. Gee, what a treat to finally meet Adam's woman. So mature, so smart, she seems to fit into the clan like a glove. Her English is something to be admired because I can hardly say hello in Thai. Meredith, little darling, what a beautiful person. Smart and not afraid to tell you how she thinks and feels. Add to that her total dedication to the farm. Mares knows what she wants and believes this is what she was born to do. And by the way, don't waste your time trying to tell her something different. Ethan, we can now see why love at the first sight scenario when we see Ethan and Meredith together. What a great addition to the family. Megan or MG, smart, funny, such a nice person to be around. MG has set her sights very high, both in school and in her personal life working hard in the summers and even at Christmas to help pay for her education and the odd pub night is appreciated by all. And a banana. Now this is another very smart and independent young lady. Born in Toronto, moved to LA, moved to Thailand, went to NIST in Bangkok, moved to Toronto uh, to get her business degree. She travels back and forth to Thailand, Los Angeles, Vancouver. I can hardly wait to see the future for Anna. Last but not least, we got Eric. I believe this smart young man is determined to do great things. Okay, I've got a question. Any arguments? Who's the luckiest man in the world? Me. Okay, that was quite the event. I had an amazing time, a whirlwind trip to Canada, but it is now time for me to go back here 
to the country that doesn't have snow and slush on the ground. I can get rid of the coat. I can go back to a pantless existence. And when I get there, I'll wrap things up. Oh, now, this is much, much better. Back in Thailand, baby, I've ditched the coat, I've ditched the pants, and man, that was my first taste of winter in 10 years, and I gotta say, I hope I don't have to put on another pair of pants for another 10 years. Makes me wonder how you guys do it out there in those winter countries, year after year, winter after winter. Man. Anyways, I digress. Great man, my dad. Amazing man, that was an amazing trip. This one was for you, Pops. And special shout out to Jeff and Nui who run Pie Restaurant. If you want to see their origin story, I did a video about it. I'll put it up right over here. Not many of you found it. Great video. And if you want to see a video of my parents' first trip ever to Pie, that's up over here. So the question is, is he the luckiest man alive? Well, I'm going to argue with him. I think the luckiest man alive is me. But, but who knows? Maybe the luckiest man alive is you. What do you think?